Welcome back to another video. Today we are in a panic because I spent the last week trying to figure out a storage system for this next video I was going to make and it is not working. So now we are speed running a video in one day. This may be a short one. We're over here at Super Wario's gold farm and that's because I've struck a deal with him that if we build up a auto crafting system over here then we can take some gold and we need that gold because we need quartz and we need quartz for what we're doing today, which is building our shop for the competition. So the first thing that I'm going to have to do is get rid of all of that stuff. This might get leggy. Okay, uh, this is a little leggy. No particular reason. Uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of awkward. Uh, what what frames are we getting? Five FPS, four FPS, three FPS. That's kind of wild. Okay. This is a little out of hand. Uh, let's let's look away from all these entities. Nope, did not help. Uh, uh let, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, that's awkward. That is a lot of items. Like that's not really the important items. The uh, seriously laggy items are way up there, so. Just gonna light these up. Uh, breath of fresh air right here. Okay, we got a clean slate. Let's get this building. Wait, no, I can't build. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this game. Uh, it is time to gather up the resources that we need. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna use Light Matica for this, because redstone is, uh, complicated. Okay, now that that's in a good position, we can get rid of this floor, too. So we need to get the materialist. And, uh, that should be pretty simple, I think. Okay, first up, we need three stacks and 53, so four stacks of yellow stained glass. I should note, between episodes, I did do a bunch of working, and uh, I built a beehive farm, or like a honey farm, not a beehive farm, and uh, I have been working away a heck ton on this stadium. But uh, yeah, th those are all taking a pause for now. I also did find another dog, which I uh, picked up just because it was cool. So if there's more names, more name suggestions for uh, Redrick's partner in crime, um, then uh, yeah, L let me know down in the comments. Okay, so then next we need the gold. Uh, we, we need the gold farm for the gold. Uh, hoppers, good. Chests, good. Nine redstone dust. I got a bunch of redstone dust from the other guy uh, for giving him some honey from the honey farm I built. So we are set for honey, or for redstone, a little bit. And uh, just like that, we got this system installed. I'm gonna put the glass around the outside and I gotta uh, 
put in the fire to destroy everything. Does a really annoying sound, but I cannot figure out a way to fit it in and have it turn off, so it'll be what it'll be. Now we can go ahead and gather up all the gold that we need for the decoration around this. And uh Yeah, we're we're making progress and we still got plenty of time in the day to finish this video. I do need to grab a little bit more scaffolding just to finish up this. Okay, there's all the glass, now just the gold blocks, which we will get from this farm itself. Well guys, after getting some gold, I went over here and I traded it up to get some more quartz. And while doing that, I realized quartz is a really tedious thing to get that's really annoying, so uh, I'm still going to use quartz, but I might as well use iron, because the iron farm has been producing. So let's grab some, uh, let's grab some of these and head over to the shopping district so we can start work on our shop. So the shop I'm going to be building is the Frog Light shop, and it's going to go in this futuristic district, and it's going to be a UFO because futuristic-y space-themed UFO I thought would be a cool build, and uh, I just need to pick a spot to Put it. You know what? We're going to put it right at the front so that we get the best business because nobody else has built yet. So, uh, you know, you, you pop up this elevator and uh, right here is going to be the UFO. I've done zero creative world testing. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think it's going to be just make it like square, not not square. It's going to be like in the middle here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I was, you know, built on a weight, and I realized I should probably include some frog lights in the shop. You know, so people can tell it sells frog lights. You know, that sort of would probably make sense. Uh, what do we have for frog lights? I'll just grab a stack of each type. Okay, guys, here we have it. This is the UFO shop. And uh, honestly, I think it turned out pretty good. It's clearly a UFO. And it I think it fits this area well. I mean, basically everything here is just the pathway. So, you know, I'm kind of making my own rules here. But I think it does fit the futuristic theme. I haven't put in the water elevator because we're going to do that in a moment. That's going to be some red swimming. And then I really... I haven't done anything in the interior, but I think up here it's basically just going to be chest, 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 uh, and then a couple signs. That should be good enough, I think. And yeah, so let's let's work on this elevator. For this elevator, it's going to be a bubble column, and that means we're going to need some soul sand and some uh, of the other stuff, magma. Okay, so I've got some of the things I'll need. I have not built a block swapper in a long time. So uh, we'll see how this goes. So you most definitely do not want to see what just happened. It was the worst redstone skill you ever did imagine. And about two hours later, I finally figured out. My goodness, it was a mess if you've ever seen one. Okay, guys, that took way longer than uh, I want to admit. But... The button's still in a weird place, however, it does work, so if you press that button, 
pop in here. He had popped up. And then it's back to magma and he had sucked down. And I'm telling you, every single tutorial I found did not make a flush one. They all had the back block swap thingamajig. So, uh, that's really annoying. But, it works now. And, uh, that's good. I'm gonna cover up the underneath here. Somehow. What are you... I'm trying to make a video here, thank you. Okay, there we go. We have officially completed our shop for the competition and just for the shopping district. Hopefully we make lots of diamonds off of this. But uh, yeah, there is the UFO, a frog light store. So yeah, uh, there's a few stores popping up. There's a few more that are probably going to come in the next few days as this competition ends up. But I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I mean, some of the shops have pretty... Pretty intense armor stance going on, so, you know, eh, we might be out of luck there. But, you know, I think I put my best foot forward. Definitely a step up from my last shop. But, uh, yeah, I gotta end this video and get editing, so this video is done literally today. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. So, yeah, <laughs> this video was not finished in one day. It took three more days of editing, and, uh, yeah, that's mostly because I just got distracted, but, yes, YOLO.